is all by itself. This is the Gaganayan milestone test mission, several test missions. It's going to be, in fact, carried out. This one is going to take place in about three minutes from now. Let's listen in. By separating the Apex cover, giving way to subsequent parachute release. At this point of time, crew module is descending at max 0.55. T minus two minutes. Apex cover is decelerated with its own pair of parachutes. Drogue shoot reduces the velocity of crew module from 145 meter per second to 51 meters per second. This deployment takes place at an altitude of 16.7 kilometers. Pilot parachutes then deploy, whose function it is to aid the deployment of main parachutes. These deployments take place at an altitude of 2.5 kilometers. This is a real-time decision based on altitude. In the following 236 seconds, the crew module would have slowed down to about 8.5 meters per second velocity. That is just about right for a safe touchdown. ISRO, in coordination with Indian Navy team, will recover the crew module after touchdown approximately 10 kilometers from Sri Harikota coast. अब हम उड़ान से एक मिनट की दूरी पर T माइनस वन मिनट क्रू मॉड्यूल को बंगाल की खाड़ी में माइनस फिफ्टी ओपन उसकी लोकेशन डिटेल्स प्रेषित की जाएगी और माइनस फिफ्टी सेकेंड और उसके सुरक्षित दूरी पर क्रू मॉड्यूल पायरोज आर्म्ड माइनस फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड नौसेना के पोत तैनात हैं माइनस फोर्टी सेकेंड अब हम कुछ ही सेकेंड्स माइनस थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड प्रज्वलन देखेंगे टीवी डी वन का माइनस थर्टी सेकेंड वी एस पी पी ओपन रियल टाइम प्रोग्राम एक्टिवेटेड माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी सेकेंड माइनस फिफ्टीन सेकेंड टेन नाइन एट सेवन Six, five, four. Hold is observed. यथा समय प्रज्वलन किया गया था लेकिन फिलहाल यह होल्ड पे आ चुका है वर्तमान में यह प्रमोचन होल्ड की स्थिति पर है Sarvodi, there is a hole. We will come back shortly. Waiting to hear from Ms. Rowe for more on that, but what really has happened? We will do later. It will not be possible today. It will not be possible today. of uh, the ISRO, in fact, uh, live streaming as far as uh, the launch of Gaganyan's test mission is concerned. Let's try and get a sense from ISRO itself as to what really has happened there because this mission was to take off. Good morning, all of you. 
this is from SDS Ishar. The, uh, the lift off attempt of TVD1 uh, could not happen today. The, initially, the launch was scheduled at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. There was a postponement of the lift off time to 8.45 due to weather situation. And uh, we had a very smooth ALS, uh, the automatic launch sequence leading up to the command to lift off uh, the, the engine. But the engine ignition has not happened in the nominal uh, course. Uh, we have to find out what went wrong with that. Uh, the vehicle is safe. The, all the entire vehicle is very safe. Uh, we will have to reach the vehicle and then look at what has happened now. Uh, we will come back soon after analyzing what has uh, triggered the automatic launch sequence holding the vehicle. So what has happened is the onboard, the computer which is doing this function, the ground checkout computer which is doing the function has withheld the launch in view of the anomaly observed. So we will come back with the anomaly uh, understanding and correct it and schedule the launch very soon. Uh, that will be announced a little later after the analysis is completed. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us for this launch attempt today. Uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye. It will be launched very time, any time in fact, very soon is what has been said. Okay, first of all, to tell our viewers that there has, in fact, the vehicle is safe is what has been said by ISRO. Just now, Professor Somnath has said the vehicle has been held back. Held back is a term that he has used. He's also said that the vehicle is safe but held back. First of all, there was a delay due to the weather condition and that's the reason why the launch eventually took, was started. The process actually started at about 8.44 a.m. But the test flight launch is on hold for now. What is the exact reason for this, uh, this launch being on hold? That is something that is going to be examined is what has been said by ISRO just now. The reason for it is going to be analyzed and the reason for the vehicle to be held back is something that's going to be examined and they will in fact uh, examine that and then update about what really happened. Why did the vehicle, why was the vehicle held back? Is what uh, ISRO said that is the question that is going to be answered in some time from now. So the Gaganyaan test mission, the flight launch has been kept on hold. That's the big story. What is the exact reason for the delay or for the vehicle to be held back? Initially, the delay was because of the weather conditions. That is what was said by ISRO. But now, why has the vehicle been held back? Is there a technical error or is there any other reason? The vehicle is safe is what ISRO has said. But the launch was stopped. It's on hold that you can see. Shilpa is with us. Shilpa, initially, the launch was delayed because of weather. But then eventually, the countdown started. Whatever is the reason for the vehicle to be held back is a reason we do not know about right now, is what ISRO has said. Well, that's it, Sneha. In fact, the countdown had started and in fact, we are here at the media center and we heard a roaring sound. So we thought that, you know, the vehicle is uh, being lifted off, but that did not happen. Uh, just a short while back, uh, ISRO chairman has given us an update saying that uh, there was something wrong uh, with the ignition. The engine ignition didn't really go off. The vehicle is safe, but they, there was some uh, anomaly that they had observed as far as the ignition is concerned. So now they are, of course, uh, they will proceed towards the site that uh, launch pad one where the vehicle is kept ready uh, to understand what exactly went wrong and they will analyze what went wrong and uh, you know see what can be uh, uh, done uh, but an update on when the launch will be that will be shared only later that is what we're being told already uh, the launch was rescheduled at least twice because of bad weather it's a quite uh, cloudy condition here at uh, Sriharikota today uh, so the launch of course had to be rescheduled at least twice but uh, the, the current uh, uh, error that they've come across it's not because of the weather but uh, more to do with the engine uh, there was something wrong with the engine ignition that is what uh, we could understand from the command center 
uh, you know commands that came in uh, so they are going to look into what exactly went wrong and uh, an update will be shared later is what uh, the scientists here are telling us uh, uh, when exactly the launch would happen that would be communicated uh, soon uh, that is uh, what being being told so as of now uh, the vehicle has not been lifted off uh, 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 the mission has not uh, been completed it, it, it uh, even though the countdown had started they had observed some kind of error technical glitches and that is the reason why now it has been put on hold uh, and an update of course is expected uh, from isro as to what exactly happened uh, there is no press conference that, that will take place at this point in time uh, so we will have to wait for isro to understand uh, and analyze what exactly happened and then of course we will get an update about when the launch will take place as far as this launch is concerned what isro essentially wanted to test was the performance of the crew module and the crew separation system Uh, uh and uh, they wanted to understand uh, you know uh, uh, the, the the idea was that the vehicle the rocket would launch from sriharikota when it reaches an altitude of around 17 kilometers and abort signal would be given now that corresponds to the speed of the rocket becoming the speed of the sound and once the abort signal is uh, given uh, you know then the crew module would separate would detach from the uh, rocket and then parachutes would be deployed it decelerates and it comes down it uh, it, it descends and splash into the bay of bengal where the indian navy had stationed its uh, ships and its personnel to retrieve uh, the crew module uh, it, it was supposed the landing or the touchdown was supposed to happen around 10 kilometers away from the sri harikota coast uh, so this was what was planned but it has not happened because uh, they have encountered a technical glitch a technical error there was something wrong with the engine ignition is what uh, 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 somnath uh, dr somnath of course just said so we are of course waiting for further updates waiting for further updates i'll actually have to go and examine what really went wrong however he did speak about the fact that the vehicle is safe the engine ignition is uh, has been uh, has failed essentially is what he uh, suggested but we are analyzing the situation we have to go and examine what really happened but uh, the vehicle is safe that's at least uh, in fact good news coming in from isro but this mission the test mission has been aborted for the timing this is isro's first test mission